Hey everybody, today we're just going to do a quick little mandala. I've got a 7 inch um, canvas here. I've already painted it my aqua color and I'm going to just bring you down to the table and we'll get started on this. It's just going to be um, a really simple mandala design and um, I've got a bunch of different colors of purple and blue here. Just um, I picked my palette because of the I just bought new colors and I want to try them out. So that's what we're going to do for this and uh, you can follow along and let's create together. Okay, so got my little canvas here. I've got my fun paint colors. I've probably got I've got two, four, six, eight, nine, nine different colors here. Um, I'm gonna use my white as well. So um, I'm just gonna have some fun with this. I have no idea what this design is going to look like at the end of it. We're just gonna kind of go with it. So a lot of times that's just the fun part about painting. It's just seeing what happens. So I'm going to create first my stencil. So the first thing that I want to do is find my center point. Actually, I'm going to change up my ruler here because that one's not. Let's try this one here. That's a bit easier to see. So I need to put that there. Okay, and then once you found your center, just draw some lines. Okay, so I've got my center and I've got those lines there. I'm going to take my little compass tool here and just create some circles. Just some guides just to make sure that as I'm going along, my circles are staying in alignment. Okay, so we're going to get started. Like I said, it's just going to kind of be one of those, let's just go with the flow and see what happens. So you can pick your first color. I'm using my pencil thumbtack as my center dot here. And uh, yeah, we're just going to get started. So I'm picking my first color, which is going to be this dark blue. So my next tool is um, about this size, as you can see on my finger. You just want to make sure you, it's not it's not as the smallest one that I typically use. It's one size up. You're just wanting to be able to see those dots, but also um, have enough to go around it and fit it nicely. So I'm going to take my next color, which I think is going to be this really cool purple. And I'm putting dots on the top and bottom. And on each side. And then I'm going to take that same tool, same color. And put it in the middle. And then we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to put dots in between. Okay, 
there. So it just fills in our first ring. So I'm going to take the same size tool, but I'm going to change up my color. Taking a more of a pink color here. And I'm just going to go in between each of these. And the same thing in between. Sorry if you can hear the construction outside. It's pretty much every day ongoing. So hopefully it's not too loud in the video. Make sure all your dots are nice and even in your size and spacing. This is really important because one ring is off that's when it starts <laughs> shifting your whole painting so you want to as best you can keep it evenly spaced and sized okay time for a jump up in our size of our tool i'm going to jump up a few sizes here so this is the one that i just used and i'm going to jump up to the size here so we can create some big dots and I'm just going to take my next color which I think is this kind of indigo I haven't worked with some of these colors before so the consistency and stuff is new and I'll just have to kind of figure that out some are a bit thicker than others but what I'm doing is just going on the top and bottom in those the valleys of the dots I just created and then I'm going to do it in the middle dots as well so I've skipped a dot in between just like that and now I'm going to take my tiny Tool. So I'm going to use my, let's see, one that's kind of a, just above a toothpick. So it's not my toothpick size. It's a little bit bigger, but not by too much. I'm just going to pick another color. I think I'm actually going to do white for this part. And I'm adding the dot on top of each of these. So you can see as this ring, like all of my white dots are just under that ring. So this is a great way to show me that right now that I'm on track with the, the um, shape of my rings because everything's even. So now I'm taking my dotting tool, same size, same color, and I'm going to dip and just continue dotting. I'm only dipping one time. This creates that descending dawn effect. And I'm going to go around on the other side and do that as well.
just like that. So I'm going to take the same dotting tool. We're going to do the same thing, but with a different color. I think I'm going to go back to this really nice, deep purple. Again, we're just starting with our top dots. This just helps to keep the balance. dot all the way down And you're just going to do the same thing on all the way around on the other side. Okay, so next up, I'm going to do the same thing, except I'm going to move up my tool size just slightly so my dots are a bit bigger. And I'm bringing in a new color. This is like a bright blue color. Kind of a dark, well, maybe a dark lavender, I don't know. I'm going to just do the exact same pattern we just did. Our dots are just slightly bigger, that's all. Now you're going to do the same thing on the other side. Now these ones are coming probably going to come down and meet together. This is the first row that's going to probably do that because there's no space in between now. So now we're kind of creating that full togetherness design, bringing it together. So you just need to bring your dots down to where it meets those other dots. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm just going to work with these dark colors that um, I've started with, again, with the white as well. Um, and then I'm going to use the lighter versions and the lighter colors that I have after for the second layer of dots. So right now we're just working on the base layer, so we're going to use darker colors and then build up to lighter colors um, once this one's dry. So now I'm going to bring in this blue that I started with this one here and I just want to fill in this space here that's kind of this valley so I'm picking a tool that's about that size that's going to give me that dot so it's basically this this um, tool that created these purpley dark dots earlier perfect so I'm just filling in that space in So now I want to uh, create some bigger dots like this one here. So I'm going to get my 
um, thumbtack one back here. And I want to get that dark purple again, I think. Or not the dark purple, the, this like dark magenta color. And I want to add it on top of um, these blue dots that we have here. So I know my angle's a bit different here for doing this video, but I broke my other um, tripod topper thingy that uh, helps me have my camera straight up and down. So I need to get a new one of those. So until then, it's on a little bit of an angle. So hopefully you can still see how this is all working out um, even still. I might try and adjust it here in a minute, but hopefully you can get the idea of what we're doing here. So, the purple is all done. Just gonna move that out of my way. There, hopefully that's a little bit better. Okay, so I just wanna fill in a little bit of these spaces here. So, I'm gonna take, I actually just have a nail head here, which is basically bigger than this one, but smaller than this one. It's kind of right in between. And I'm just going to take, actually I haven't used this color yet, so I'm going to take this magenta color here. And I'm just adding a dot right on the top of where we had done the descending dots. Take that same size tool. I'm going to take a different color. Take this one, this deep indigo. And I'm just going to put another dot on each side of those, kind of in that little space that's kind of created by the other dots here. So just find a tool that fits that space. kind of filled in that space a little bit we are going to go back in um, once we're doing our other layers and do some smaller dots in between just to fill in a couple spaces as we go but right now we're just wanting to get that basic layer going so now we're going to do some more descending dots on these big purple ones or whichever color that you picked so we're going to take this tool again that we used um, for the first set of descending dots, first and second set. And I'm gonna use white again as my first color. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add those dots at the top. This one might be a little bit different than this one just because with this one we were able to get away with one 
dip for those dots whereas these dots are a bit bigger or these the dots we're going around are a bit bigger so we're going to need to um, add a few dots on the sides before we start descending so typically it's about two I would say and then you dip your last time and then bring it down so do two and then dip and then do your descending you'll get to know how far you can take your paint you might be able to do it a little bit differently but this tends to be a, a good strategy here for me Do it on the other side too. Okay, so we're going to do the descending notes again. I'm going to bring in this blue that I've just used the one time, and um, I'm going to move up my dot size here, or I'm sorry, my tool size to the one that I actually used for that same blue which was the third set of descending dots so I want to make these ones a little bit bigger so I'm just going to add a little bit more paint you can just use a larger tool I just want these center dots at the top to be a little bit bigger than what the other ones are going to be So same tool and paint, these ones, again, we're going to do the same strategy where we're one and two and then descending. So you'll see that this dot is still quite a bit bigger than the other dots beside. So do that all the way around and then on the other side as well. Okay, so the blue's done there. And I'm going to take my, um, this dark blue here. And I'm going to do the exact same thing with the same size tool. So I want this one a little bit bigger. And sometimes you'll notice just with your paint, you'll know if you need to. I'm just going to use a bigger tool here just for the dots, these first dots. So now I'm going back to this, this tool here that I was just using for the last row. And I'm adding the 
descending dots all the way around. do the same thing and then back around on the other side okay so those ones are done so now I want to um, make more of these big dots so I'm going to grab my um, thumbtack tool again and I want to create them in the same color that I did for that center one And I'm just going to put it in these little, well, I guess the same color that I just did. I'm going to put this in the valleys here. So you can just use your, um, one of your circles as your guide as to where you're going to put those. So I know mine are all just underneath this ring that I have here. Okay, and I'm going to take something that's a bit smaller that's going to fit now in the valleys right underneath that and pick a different color. So I'm going to use this pink color that I haven't used since the center there. And I'm just filling in those little spaces right in, underneath it. Okay, I really like that pink. Okay, now we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to um, do some petals to add into here. So what I want to do is I want my petals to kind of be coming out this way. So, well here, sometimes it's just easier to show. <laughs> so I'm kind of starting right under this one like just slightly away from this spot and I'm I'm just gonna use my same color that I just used because I really like it and I'm getting this dot with a good little bit of paint in it and then I'm going to take my toothpick tool and I'm going to draw that paint down into this little space here Kind of creating a little curve just like that and we're going to do that all the way around we'll just go one way and then we can go the other way so i'll show you again here so over slightly from that dot building up the paint and taking my toothpick and just kind of following the the line of of those dots there to bring this right into that valley.
So I've gone all the way around one way. Now I'm going to do it the other way. So I'm just adding my dot on the other side of that one. And drawing the paint the other way. Okay, so I've gone all the way around both ways. Now we're going to do the exact same thing with a different color, same tools, same technique, um, but just picking a different color. So I'm going to pick, what I'm going to do is, for me, I want my colors to, my petals to be um, in shades. So I'm going, I did the pink, so I'm going to do this kind of purple color, and then I'm going to do the dark purple. You can do whatever you like. But I'm going to, so I'm going to take my purple and what I'm doing is I'm just adding another dot right beside it or right beside the pink one and I'm just drawing, drawing that paint into the center there. Because these ones are a little bit smaller, you probably don't need to have as much paint as you did for the other petals. I want to choose paints here that have a really nice thin consistent like consistency. Um, they're just better for dragging out that the tail of that petal. If you have a thick one, you're gonna, you can do it, but it's just not as easy or sm smooth flowing as if you have a thinner consistency. So you can add a drop or two of water to the paint if it's a bit too thick or a um, pouring medium if you have it. just continue to go all the way around and then all the way back around as well like you just did with the last one okay so I've done the second color there and now I'm going to take my darker purple now this one I'm going to drop down the size of my tool because this one's going to be a smaller petal that's just kind of sticking right in that little groove there that little valley so I'm taking my darker purple and I'm just putting dots there like that and dragging it up just like that I'm gonna go all the way around So the petals are all done there. So now I'm going to take um, my indigo 
And I just want to add a, a, a dot in between here. It's kind of a, a filler dot, so just pick a tool that's going to give you that right size dot in between those two petals we just did. paint is a bit thicker than I like it to be for dot painting so I have to next time I use it thin it down a little bit more and again like I said you can use a couple drops of water if you don't have anything else or um, the pouring medium works really great Okay, so now I'm going to take my white paint and I'm going to take my um, small dotting tool, the one that I used for this one here, which is just above the toothpick. And I'm going to do the descending dots around here. around all of these purple dots. that and while we have this tool and the white paint we're also going to do just a couple dots going down in between if you have space if you don't have space that's okay but if you still got that space in between those then just pop a few white dots in between there done the base coating here and then we're going to be able to leave it and um, let that dry and come back to it but I want to uh, take my white again but my tool size I'm going to go up a little bit just find the tool that fits best for you here which is basically just putting a white filler dot in between those larger petals that we did
just like that. Okay, now I'm going to take another color and go around these ones again. And this time, so I'm going to show you here, let's see what color do I want to do. I think I'll do this blue again. So we're going to do the descending dots around, but then, so let's see here. This one also is a little paint is a bit thicker than I want it to be, but I think I'll add a little bit of thinner to that. So these ones are a little bit bigger. What we're going to do after we do those dots, so let's get the descending dots on here on this one. We're going to take that same tool and same paint and we're going to do some descending dots out to that white dot that we just made. Just like that. Because that's going to kind of create the unity of that outline for us and then we're going to leave it to be able to dry. So I'll go around and do this and then I'll show you. Okay, so I've gone all the way around my outline and I'm going to do it again because I think I feel like it's too thin I want to make it a little bit uh, wider so I'm going to take my blue my other blue and I'm going to just do the exact same thing I just did
Okay, so you can see it's starting to take shape a little bit nicer now that we've got another set of dots. And um, I think I might actually do one more set, but I'll wait and do that at the end uh, once we've done all of our other stuff and then just see where we're at. So I'm going to let this one dry and then we're going to come back and we're going to do the second layer. So make sure that your uh, first layer here is really dry before you continue on with the video. Okay, so here we are. We've got our, um, our first layer done and now we're going to be um, adding our second layer. So what I've done is I've grabbed colors that are a bit lighter or different shade than the base colors that I've used here just because then that's going to make it stand out and pop. So I'm just going to open up my colors here. So I have some lighter pinks and blues, um, purple. Okay, so these are my colors here. As you can see, they're all kind of a lighter variation of what I have here. Um, I did bring this purple back in even though I have it on the bottom here because I want to add that to these um, darker purple Juneberry colors. So we'll start off again in the center and work our way out again just because we need to have space to work. So I've just taken my lighter blue and I'm just adding that into the center again wanting to make sure you can still see the other color on the outside there okay and then I'm going to take the my white because I want to add in some tiny dots around here so I've just got my toothpick tool and my white and I'm just going to go in between each of these valleys here that's between that center dot and that first ring And then I'm going to take a tool that is one size smaller than the tool I used to create that first ring. So here you can see this one was this here. So I'm going to use one size smaller and I'm just going to pick one of my lighter colors, probably that purple I was just talking about. And I'm going to add that into that onto those Juneberry color dots. Okay, so now I'm going to go back to my white and my toothpick because I want to add those same kind of dots in between these here. You can see it's kind of like an hourglass shape, so I'm doing the bottom part of what would be the hourglass in between the two dots. Okay, and then again, I'm going to take my tool that's going to be now one size smaller than what I used to create this next layer. And I'm just going to use my lighter pink and add some dots on top, a layer of dots on top of that. Okay, so next I'm going to take uh, my lavender purple and I want to go 
will work because this is a kind of that darker purple it's not quite the june berry which i want to kind of keep consistent with the colors that i'm using on top so this is kind of this deeper um, sapphire color so i'm going to use my more of the blue tone here and so i want to use the lavender and i'm going to up my tool a little bit to make sure i'm in line here with making sure that my dot is a good size but also being able to see that sapphire color underneath as you can see i'm pressing a little bit harder on these ones only because there is a little bit of a peak on those sapphires so if i don't push down a little bit more those dots are not going to be very circular um, because of that little peak when they dried so you gotta gotta push that down a little bit when you're creating your next dot here okay so now i'm going to go back to my white i'm moving up not from my or from my toothpick just one size more just because this spot where i want to put these dots is a little bit bigger than what the toothpick dot would do so whatever size works for you to sit a dot in between these little valleys here there okay so now we're getting back into some of my other colors that we were already using so for the blue we're going to go back to this blue here and again you're just finding the dot or the tool that you works best for you to uh, create the dot size that you need so you can test it out on the side on a piece of paper or once you kind of have got a few paintings under your belt it's pretty easy to figure out um, what tool is going to be best for the job okay so blue is done I'm going to go back to my lavender here and put that on the same color of dots that I did with this row here. And then I'm going to take my, oh, I haven't done this one yet. So I'm going to pick white, I think, for any of the purple that has that, um, that I'm using here as a secondary layer as well. that one's done now okay so now I'm going to go back to this bright purple color and I want to go into here with these larger dots so I'm going to use my thumbtack tool but again I'm not going to push down all the way lately I just I'm going to look from the side and I'm just going to see how far down I need to press in order to get that dot a good size without covering up the bottom layer. So I'm not even coming close to touching the canvas at this point because otherwise I'm going to have that dot. It's going to be way too big.
and you can certainly use a smaller tool I just don't have on me right now the tool that would probably be the best fit so when you have minimal tools just you learn to figure out how to use them in different ways okay so there we go with that and now I'm gonna go back to my pink here because we're just we're just following the dots all the way outside here so I'm going to my these pink dots here and I'm going to use I think I'm gonna try out one of my nail head ones here I think that'll be a good size Okay, and now we're going back to our blue. And again, I'm using, I, this is the thumbtack size one, so I'm gonna use my thumbtack again and do the same thing that I just did where I'm not pushing down all the way. So now we have these our petals here. We're going to um, do the same thing we did with these petals. We're just going to make them a little bit smaller so that they're popping out. So we'll start with our pink, or my pink, whatever color it is that you're using. So I'm creating a dot that's smaller than the one I used for the previous petal. Putting some paint on there and then taking my toothpick. And just dragging that out a little bit. And we're going to do that all the way around. Okay, so I've done the pink, now I'm going to do the purple. So this purple, I was using the white on the dots. So that's what we're gonna do here. So we're just gonna do the same thing we just did with the pink. Just create a smaller dot on top. And then draw the tail out with the toothpick. We'll do that all the way around too. Okay, so white is done now, and we're gonna do the purple. So now this one, because they're so tiny, I'm just gonna do a dot here. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do a tail because otherwise we're probably gonna end up losing a bit of that color underneath. So I think I'm just going to leave it as a dot. But you can create that tail if you like. Okay. So now we are back to the lavender color here for me for this one. Whichever color it is that uh, you're using for that top the color on your next dot.
Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to let this dry and we're going to come back and do um, a third layer on some of these bigger dots. Okay, so my layer is next layer is dry and I'm just coming in with the white. This is the last little bit of um, to do here. And I just want to bring in a little bit more white on those, some of the peaks in order to create that um, 3D effect, I guess you could say. It just highlights some of those dots a little bit more. So I'm going to do the middle. And these purple ones. Again, you can use a smaller tool here. I just kind of grabbed my one that I've, my thumbtack one here, but and I'm also going to do these big ones. And then you can kind of take a look and say, okay, you know, where's the balance for, for the white because the white or whichever color you're choosing to do your highlights here kind of ties everything together. And so then you can add in white wherever you think it would benefit. So I'm thinking for this one, I want to add white onto these here. I think I'm going to add the white to the same color in here. Just little dots, even just right on that little point. It's amazing how just even the tiniest little dot on there can make a difference. Okay, and then I think I'm going to do the blue here. And I think last but not least here, I'm going to do these ones that are right below the blue dots. There, we are all finished. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I will be getting a few more up here shortly. Uh, another couple of designs, a couple of different um, canvas type of canvases or objects to paint on and uh, we will carry on painting together so thanks for joining me and we'll see you next time